This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Today's video is brought to you by My Heritage. Daniel Goldman, congressman. <laughs> you might remember him from uh, the impeachment hearings of Donald Trump. He was lead counsel for the majority during that time. He just nailed a coffin into the investigation by James Comer into the Bidens. The thing I've been covering for the past who knows how many videos. Remember, they're, they've got a whistleblower and an informant, but then, oh, but we don't know where they are, coincidentally. And then Donald Trump gets in, in, indicted. And then uh, all of a sudden, they've got all this bombshell information and evidence that is now, we're learning, just recycled nonsense. I got a clip of him. I got a brief reading from uh, the New Republic. But before I get to that, a very brief word from today's sponsor, My Heritage. Since my battle with colon cancer last year, I've been keen to learn more about my health and whether there are other hereditary issues I should watch out for. But as many of you know, I'm not that close, to say the least, with my family, which means it's not as easy as just stopping by my mom's house and cracking open a photo album. To gather the most background I could, I partnered with the professionals at MyHeritage. With over 19 15 billion historical records at their disposal, MyHeritage is the leading global service for family history research and DNA testing. It's super easy to get started and fascinating to discover more about your origins. You might be surprised at what you find. I plugged in the few family names I knew, and then using the smart match option, I found that my great-great-grandfather, James Madison Durfee, grew up in Almo, Idaho, not too far from where I did. My Heritage is also an excellent place to preserve and improve your family photos. Using My Heritage's state-of-the-art tools, you can repair, colorize, and even animate that old pic of grandma and grandpa, like these of my two grandparents on my mom's side that I also found on My Heritage. The past often informs the future, so Find out more about your family history with MyHeritage. Just click the link below to start your 14-day free trial. Build out your family tree and access these other incredible features. There's more to your history than you think. Find out about it with MyHeritage. Now let's get into this. James Comer has proven himself to be a clown even though he is in one of the highest positions in the House of Representatives as chairman of the House Oversight Committee. They have a document that is in a skiff. You may remember last week or, or just days ago, Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, emerged from the skiff, uh, the, the, the room in which uh, classified sensitive uh, documents containing intelligence and non-public information uh, are stored, where they can be viewed by members of Congress who have access, clearance and access to, to view them. And she came out having written notes to talk about what she learned. It's always selective with these idiots, though. Daniel Goldman just revealed in a hearing yesterday, I'm going to read two paragraphs from here, and then we're going to play the clip, and I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about it. But he revealed exactly what was contained, not exactly what was contained, but really he showed that this is a shell game. There's nothing here at all, and this is just recycling conspiracy theories that were promulgated by Rudy Giuliani and Donald Trump years ago. First, let me read a little bit from this New Republic article. Democratic congressman reveals the fatal flaw in the GOP's Biden investigation. If you're claiming someone has all the evidence, that person should probably agree with you. So we're learning two things. One, that the person who claims they have all of this information on the Bidens, excuse me, the person who the Republicans claim claims they have information, doesn't say that. Uh, the other thing is that this is becoming more and more transparent as days go on, that the Republicans are doing nothing but a Benghazi part two. 
Even worse this time, it's not predicated on real events at all. It is made up out of whole cloth. Reading from this New Republic article, during an oversight committee hearing on Wednesday, Democratic Representative Daniel Go Goldman said he had been eager to see the FD-1023, a form the FBI uses to note unverified information from confidential sources. But he soon realized that the document was, quote, just a three-year-old secondhand hearsay uncorroborated rehashing of Rudy Giuliani's bogus allegations that he got from corrupt Ukrainian officials. Now, I'm going to read this next paragraph, which, which will remind you of what exactly I'm talking about. Giuliani and Donald Trump first pushed the conspiracy that the Biden family accepted a $10 million bribe to remove former Ukrainian prosecutor Viktor Shokin in 2016 to stop a probe into Hunter Biden's role at the oil company's Burisma Holdings. Several Republican lawmakers say that the FBI form they saw this week not only mentions this bribe, but that a Burisma executive has audio recordings of Biden and Hunter Biden accepting the money. Both Anna Paulina Luna and Marjorie Taylor Greene said that executive is Burisma owner uh, Mykola Zlochevsky. I probably botched that. So, here is that moment of Daniel Goldman, who is proving to be worth every penny he's paid as a representative, both in as, as a legislator, but also bringing his vast experience as an investigator with him to the job. Watch this. We've heard so much about this FBI 1023 form and how it includes sensational allegations about a massive alleged bribery scheme by President Biden. So I was really eager to read that document this week. Did the majority actually find some actual evidence of wrongdoing by the president? Of course not. But it's even worse than that. This document that they will not stop talking about is shockingly just a three-year-old secondhand hearsay, uncorroborated rehashing of Rudy Giuliani's bogus allegations that he got from Ukrainian, corrupt Ukrainian officials. Now, we all know that former President Donald Trump was impeached because he tried to extort President Zelensky to announce an investigation into this Ukrainian company, Burisma, that would benefit Trump's political campaign. The theory goes that then-Vice President urged Ukraine to fire its prosecutor general because he was investigating Burisma and the president wanted to help his son, who was on the Burisma board. You know where Rudy Giuliani got this information from? That fired prosecutor general himself, the corrupt prosecutor general. Now look, the history of Ukraine relative to these modern times in the last few years is one of ups and downs, but it is absolutely rife with corruption. It, they seem to be getting past these problems now that they've got a new president, but it has been kind of a puppet state um, of Russia in, in, in the past and, and has had all kinds of problems relative to government officials uh, acting unscrupulously. Now, this particular claim, we're going to go back to the New Republic here, this claim has been repeatedly debunked by multiple State Department and intelligence experts on Russia and Ukraine. But Goldman highlighted the main flaw in the Republicans' argument. And then you heard him. You know who else also debunked these allegations? Mykola Zlochevsky, the same man Republicans claim had secret incriminating audio recordings. When Zlochevsky was asked by Politico, this is important, when this guy was asked by Politico in 2020 whether Biden had ever assisted Burisma while he was vice president, he simply said no. Zlochevsky also said that no one from Burisma ever had any contacts with Vice President Biden or people working for him while his son was on the company board. Goldman also pointed out that the FBI, alongside a U.S. attorney appointed by then-President Donald Trump, had reviewed the bribery accusation when it was made in 2020 and found it to be unsubstantiated. 
There is nothing here. All this is is a naked ploy by James Comer and Kevin McCarthy and Jim Jordan and other doofus Republicans to create a conspiracy, to create a scandal where there isn't one. As I've said before, if there's evidence, show me the evidence and I will be on board with you, James Comer, to call for the arrest the, the investigation of, the indictment of, the prosecution of, and the jailing of Joe Biden. But until then, as I've said in the past also, shut your mouth. All this is, is a distraction. All this is, is one, not getting on with the business of the people of these United States, and also running interference for Donald Trump. That's what we got here. One more paragraph here. Again, from Daniel Goldman. Chairman Comer has asked, why is this committee the only committee that's investigating him? And that's the right question. Why, Goldman said. Because everybody else who's looked at it has found these allegations to be completely bogus. So let's move on, Daniel Goldman said. Indeed, let's move on. Let's move on to the important business of the people of America. Let's move on to making people's lives better and easier in this high inflationary times that Republicans cannot stop talking about. If they really wanted to reverse some of the policies that they claim are dangerous from Joe Biden, why are they not doing it? Instead, they distract with this. I'd love to know what you think. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me as always, daily at dollamore.com. And if you're into it, you can support my work by clicking the join button below and becoming a channel member. You can click the super thanks button below, or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. I'd love to see you follow me on social media. I'm at dollamore just about everywhere. And I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.